The search for the fittest on earth is nearly over. One final test remains here inside the Coliseum at the Alliant Energy Center in Madison, Wisconsin. We close out the 2023 Noble CrossFit Games. I'm Sean Woodland with the second fittest woman in the 35 to 39 year old division. Stacey Tovar and Nikki Grazer is down on the competition floor. The thrusters are here, Stacey. Holy moly, they sure are for time 21. 1815 Echo Bike Calories Thrusters, starting with 85 pounds, ascending by 10 pounds and ending at 105, where they will then take that bar and lunge it overhead 66 feet. Recipe for success is delivered by Trifecta. It's time to get primal. Bring out the claws, girls. If you want it, you got to go get it and win it. Let's go down to Nikki Brazier, who's on the competition floor. Well, this final test is the perfect example of how CrossFit is just as much a mental game as it is a physical one. These barbells will get progressively heavier as the ladies work down the field of play. And by the time they get to this final barbell, they'll need to lunge all the way to the finish where their friends and family are lining the first two rows, hopefully to give them the extra boost they need to finish strong. Nine women will be in this opening heat, including the former two-time champion, Annie Thorstad, or someone I know you have had the honor of competing against. When you see her here at this point of her career, what do you think? I don't know how she's doing it. I want whatever Annie's taking. <laughs> oh, man, I remember competing against her in 2009. And in complete awe, Sean, just like this girl is something special. And she's certainly proven to be that and everyone's favorite here at the 2023 Noble CrossFit Games. From the original superstar to a budding superstar, Olivia Kerstetter, the youngest competitor in the competition, 16th place coming into this final test. We'll start with the 21 calories on the Echo. This Echo bike is also known as the Devil's Bike. <laughs> it takes a lot of leg, but it also takes a lot of arm. And ahead of them are those thrusters, which also is a squat to a press up overhead. Again, we're talking about a lot of leg, and we're talking about a lot of arm. And this is just a rinse and repeat type of workout, but also a classic CrossFit <laughs> workout as well, you know? 21, 18, 15, a rep scheme that we see all the time programming affiliates around the world. You've competed at the games. You know what it's like to go through, through this many tests and have to show up on the final day. What are their bodies feeling like at this point? Raw, <laughs> real, sore. But there's always a finish line in sight. So when you see the final test show up on the final day of competition, there's nothing like just a little juice left in you kind of just comes to fruition and everything just is like goes away and you just feel great just knowing that it's almost over. Bethany Flores is the first woman to the thrusters followed by Emily Rolf and Emma Tall. Now Andy Forrestar is there. Along with Marie Frail. That's 85 pounds there on the barbell. We also have a short bar, also known as the Rogue C70 bar. And that's to allow for room on the floor. The lanes are a tight squeeze, and now every bar and all nine women can be on the floor at once. But the 42 rep mark is when this round will end. Then he will advance forward to another echo bike and complete 18 calories. And it's Emily Rolf who won the 5K to open the day yesterday, who is your leader. She's on the far left side of the screen, the all black just dropped the barbell, along with Annie Thorstein. So two veterans in the lead here in this opening heat. And they're also a little bit taller, Sean. So although the thruster is more of a short person's movement, um, the echo bike favors a taller, lengthier athlete. 18 calories. 60 rep mark is what they're trying to hit. You get your official 2023 Noble CrossFit Games gear and score a bonus gift with purchase. Scan the QR code to redeem a few terms and conditions. Randy Thorstadter and Emily Rolf still battling for first place here. There is Bethany Flores who comes in 15th place overall. Randy Thorstadter right now just Two spots out of it, finish inside the top 10. Andy Thor's under there on the right side of your screen. Blue tank top, three top 10 finishes, five top 15 finishes, and just a 24th and 25th this weekend. 12 year 
vet of the sport, Sean. Only woman to compete in three different decades at the CrossFit Games. And a mom of one. <laughs> and competed every venue. Emily Rolfe is now in the lead. Here comes Annie Flores' daughter in second. Bethany Flores is cinching up the belt on the left side as they get to work on the 18 thrusters and now 95 pounds. You'll see that bar sit on their shelf, meaning the front of their shoulders. You see they have to squat below parallel and then use their hips to then press and thrust the barbell up overhead. It takes timing. It takes accuracy. Oh, and it just takes a little bit of heart rate. Breathing. Emma Tall in the all blue as works her way into the speed pack here as Emily Rolf needs to get to 78 reps. She has five remaining. And Olivia Kerstetter starting to gain some ground here. And Kerstetter, closest to the camera, is now in first place. She likes to move weight, Sean. She's great on the machines. She's the youngest in the field, so maybe she's not feeling some of that rawness I was talking about earlier. She gets right to work on the bike. 15 Echo Bike calories here. Fresh, Sean takes I would say maybe about a minute. We'll see it, how long it takes the ladies after completing all those thrusters and those calories in the previous set. 93 is the number that Kerstetter's got to hit here to get to the final barbell that weighs 105 pounds. And don't forget that lunge down the floor. Kerstetter's judge's hand is in the air. And she is your leader right now. Former two-time team champion. The future is so bright for this young lady. I hope she's soaking up every single second here on the competition floor. She's coached by Jacob Pepper, who's a former individual competitor. And Jacob asked her what her goals were, and she said, well, where did you finish your rookie year? And Jacob said, 18. And she said, I want to beat that. And well on her way to possibly doing that here. Olivia Kerstetter to the barbell for the final time on the thrusters. 15 reps here at 105. And we'll see how she breaks this up here, Sean. We saw in the men's heat earlier, Chase mentioned a really savvy move by Samuel Quant. Taking a couple breaks, but especially on that 14th rep. Emily Rolfe is onto her final set of thrusters too, and there is Jacob Hepner on the left side. Tank top bottom corner of your screen there, pulling that barbell down as it makes her way to the front rack, the shelf, otherwise known, before she squats and then accelerates out of the hole quickly to press it up and lock it up overhead. And Kersetter doing the same thing that you mentioned about Sam Clunch, Stacy. One final rep overhead, and now here comes the lunge. 11 scored reps here, 119 reps is the mark she's looking to get to. Her foot has to pass through these sections as she makes her way down that white floor. You notice there's a solid line followed by a spotted line. If she drops between solid line and solid line, she must go back to the start of that section. The crowd and getting behind, sorry, Stacey. Crowd getting behind, 7-0. Olivia Kerstetter. And then she goes on broken on this shot. And look at the emotion on Jacob Hepner's face as here comes Olivia Kerstetter. What a way to finish out her 2023 Novo CrossFit Games with a heat win. Okay, there's just been way too many tears here in the Coliseum today. Knock it off, everyone. 722.25 seconds for Olivia Kerstetter. Emily Rolf is your leader on the floor. She's ahead of Emma Tong, Karin Freyova, Annie Thoris' daughter on the far right side of your screen right now in fourth place, and it is tight between the three lead women. You talk about shoulders, you talk about legs. 
how about that core stability to be able to lunge and hold 105 pounds up overhead, 66 feet, Sean. It's going to be dead even at the finish line here. Freyova and Tall over at the same time. Now Freyova got a no rep because she dropped the barbell behind her. She's got to complete this lunge. And now another no rep. So Freyova's trying to get things sorted out here. She had to retreat to the prior section. That is the way it has been briefed. If you break in a section, you have to go back to the prior line. So any force out of taking a break here too. And now Freyova is going to get across. Emma Tall is going to take second. And Emily Wall takes third. Annie Thorisar has the ball down back overhead. As on the far side, Shelby Neal is starting to creep up on her. Thorisar has to be completely over the red line. Drop the ball down in front of her, and then she can get on the finish map. Here comes Shelby Neal. Semenza looks to be the next woman to finish down at the bottom of your screen. She'll take a break. Bethany Flores has the barbell back overhead. Bethany Flores starting to get ground on Paige Semenza. Lisa Juliano is on to her final lunge as well. Juliano at the upper right hand part of your screen. It's going to be tight between Flores and Semenza here. And it's Paige Semenza, who's going to win that race. And Lisa Fugliano is in. But it's Olivia Kerstetter. Closing things out in style, wins the heat. The only woman to go sub eight, and she did it by a mile. 722.25 seconds. It started on that. Started on that Echo bike, all Olivia from the get-go. She makes her way down the floor with that 105-pound barbell and makes a statement, letting the CrossFit community know that I am here to stay. Let's send it down to Nikki Brazier with Olivia Kerstetter. Congratulations, Olivia, the youngest competitor in the entire field. You were getting emotional with your coach and friend, Jacob Hepner, at the finish line. What does that heat win mean for you? I mean, it was super special. I just came out here to have fun and see where I was my rookie year, and that was a great way to end it. I couldn't ask for anything better. What does it show you? What does it prove to yourself that you can hang out here with these elite women? Just proves that I belong and have a lot of work to do, but I'm ready for it. And now that I know I belong, we're just getting started. Congratulations. Thank you. Yes, yes, I got to be proud of that effort from Olivia Kerstetter. And this most likely will not be the final time we see Olivia Kerstetter out on the CrossFit Games competition floor. 722.25 seconds is at the time to beat by Emma Tall and Emily Rolfe. We are now minutes away from crowning the fittest woman on earth. Stay with us, everybody, here at the 2023 Noble CrossFit Games.
The surge began in February with hundreds of thousands of athletes, and we are now down to the final 20, and three of them, Ariel Lowen, Emma Lawson, and Laura Horvath, are all hoping to wind up on the podium here at the 2023 Noble CrossFit Games. We are glad you are with us, everybody, as we close out the final day of competition here in Madison, Wisconsin. I'm Sean Woodland with the second fittest woman in the 35 to 39 year old division, Stacey Tobar. And Nikki Brazer is down on the competition floor. You heard Dave and Tommy talking about Laura Horvath and what a Sunday she has had. She has been perfect through two tests. Laura said it herself, Sunday was her favorite day and she's proving that to be true. The only athlete to win all events on Sunday is the man, the myth, the legend, Rich Groening. And he did that twice in 2013 and 14. However, Laura Horvath had 11th game test wins, fifth win in the 2023 Noble CrossFit Games, and this ties Sam Briggs for all time individual women. Sam Briggs, one of the most dominant individual athletes in the history of the CrossFit Games, the fittest woman on earth in 2013. So that's a great company for Laura Horvath right now with 881 points. She has a 22 point lead on Emma Lawson. Ariel Lowen has the final spot on the podium right now. Let's go down to the floor for the athlete intros. and two-time CrossFit Games individual athlete, Paige Powers. Next up, we have 10-time CrossFit Games athlete, two-time CrossFit Games champion, Tetran Davis' daughter. In eighth place, welcome five-time CrossFit Games athlete, Danielle Brandon. Please help me welcome the 2019 CrossFit Games Welcome your European semi-final winner and five-time CrossFit Games athlete, Gabriella Magala. In fifth place, welcome two-time CrossFit Games athlete, Alexis Raptis. In fourth place in your North American West semi-final champion, Alex Gazan. She currently sits third overall. Welcome three-time CrossFit Games athlete, Ariel Lowen. Currently sitting, sitting in second position, please welcome your 2022 Rookie of the Year, Emma Lawson. And for your first place athlete coming into the finale, six-time CrossFit Games athlete, three-time podium finisher, Laura Horvath! Ten women here in this second and final heat. Laura Horvath will be in lane number five, and you heard Tommy say that once they hit the competition floor, the, those expressions are going to change. And Laura Horvath looks like she is on a mission here. S12, it's the echo thruster, and everyone hates thrusters. <laughs> it hurts. It hurts really bad for time. 21, 18, 15, echo bike calories and thruster. Starts it with an 85 pound bar and goes up to 105 pounds. Then they take that 105 pound bar and they lunge overhead with it 66 feet on the floor. Recipe for success is delivered by Trifecta. What are you watching for? Here? The claws are going to come out, Sean. It's time to get primal. And if you want it, you got to go get it, man. It's up to you. Lay it out there. There is Laura Horvath. <laughs> Open me ground, fittest woman on earth, Emma Lawson. Can still catch her here in this final test. Lawson just 22 points out. Low in lane four, 48 points out. 21 calories here on the bike. Keep your eye on the top of the screen. The leader's name in the heat will be on the far left. The number of reps, or calories, 
that athlete has completed would be in the white box. All the other white boxes will indicate how far behind the leader that athlete is currently. This bike is beefy. This Rogue Echo bike takes legs, it takes arms, and it takes about three key hoves, arms and legs for even one calorie to take on that bike. Right now, Emma Lawson on the right side is your leader. She's through 14 of those initial 21 calories. There are 119 total scored repetitions in this test, and Lawson's judge's hand is in the air for signifying that she is just about done. Captain Davis, though, a former two-time champion, sits in second. Oh, hold on, starting the game a little grab right now as Davis Zotter is about half a calorie ahead of Emma Lawson. And Emma Lawson and Davis Zotter are off at the same time. And now here comes Laura Horvath. This is an 85-pound bar, Sean. A thruster is a squat below parallel, followed by a thrust and a press out up overhead. Emma Lawson has a 22-point deficit. She's got to make up on Laura Horvath, which means she would have to get a couple people between herself and Laura in order to make up that deficit in one test. And this is the final test. There is no tomorrow for Emma Lawson. Laura Horvath just needs to finish in fifth place or better, and there's nothing anybody else can do. And the time to beat is 722.25 seconds from Olivia Kirsten. And you better believe the lady in the white sports bra there knows exactly what she needs to do to get on top of that podium today, Sean. Horvath and David Zutter. At the top of your screen is Catherine David Zutter to the right. About the same time, 18 calories here. They got to get to the 60 rep mark. See Catherine David Zutter there in the blue sports bra, blue shorts, just kind of pushing down on those handles, pressing through the full foot on the pedal. on the far right side of your screen. It's falling off the lead pacer, but not by much. Only a couple of calories behind. Oh, hold on, who is now in the lead. Again, the 60 rep mark. They'll move on to the next barbell that weighs 95 pounds and complete 18 more thrusters. Just about done now with those 18 calories. She has stood on the podium three times in her career, twice in second place, including her rookie year in 2018. And last year, she put on a frantic charge on the final day to finish in third place overall. She has already won the first two tests today. And now Emma Carey, on the left side of your screen, has moved into second behind Laura Horvath. 18 thrusters, 95 pounds on this Rogue C70 bar, which is a shorter bar, so it compresses the weight, ultimately making it feel slightly heavier than a normal 35-pound women's bar would. It's a squat below parallel, followed by an aggressive thrust of the hips to finally press and lock the barbell up overhead. You talk about leg. You talk about hips, you talk about arms, you also talk about core. Core to extremity, a foundational movement here in CrossFit. And now Laura Horvath onto the bike for the final time. She's got 15 more calories to complete. Get your official 2023 Noble CrossFit Games gear and score a bonus gift to purchase. Scan the QR code to redeem and view terms and conditions. And let's not forget, the whole holdout closed out day number three with a win. If she holds on to this, this could be four in a row. Sean, she won the pig chipper. She won the ski bag. She won the only total last night. She won the muscle up bag this morning. She won the parallel bar pull. Now, if you're wondering what the most consecutive wins for a woman is, it's Tia Tui back in 2020, who won five straight. Tia Tui, the sixth time for this woman on earth. Taking this season off. The start of family. They're going to be back next year. But right now, it's Noah Horvath, who is three calories away. And heading to the barbell for the final time. Emma Carey is not going to make it easier on her. Emma Carey is now done, and she will be first to the barbell. And Emma Carey here 
down in lane number two, bottom left side of your screen, has actually had the fastest splits of the field when it comes to the barbell. Cycling it at least two seconds faster than the next gal. And on Horvath, exactly that, two seconds. Every second matters in this sport, Sean, this we know. Top two women on the screen are now Laura Horvath, this manager, take a lead. From Emma Carey, 108 reps is the mark they got hit. Horvath's going to take a break. That's, this is fine because Emma Carey is not factoring into the championship race here. Horvath just has to stay close to Emma Lawson. And Emma Lawson now on the right side of your screen, just getting to the barbell here. Lawson in fifth place right now in the heat. Horvath knows that there's a 66 foot lunge overhead ahead of her. I think that was a strategic move, just taking a moment, taking a little bit of a breath, relaxing the legs, relaxing the shoulders, relaxing the core. Horvath just closed out her set. Now she's going to have to get that ball up back overhead to lunge it down. And again, no need for her to hurry because she is ahead of Emma Lawson. She's looking around. Lawson on the right is still working on her final set of thrusts. Now, Laura Horvath has the barbell overhead. Emma Carey and Katherine Davids on the top of your screen are working their way down the floor. And this could be a lunge to the top of the podium for Laura Horvath. Davids out and Carey are fighting for the test win here, but Laura Horvath is starting to gain ground. Gabby McGowan is out there as well. Davis Daughters in the lead. Now here comes Laura Horvath trying to move in the second. But that's not the race that matters. She is going to win the one that does. Laura Horvath has spent time training at CrossFit Krypton in Virginia. But today, the woman from Hungary is Superwoman. Laura Horvath is the fittest woman on earth. Seconds good enough for third place in the heat, fourth in the test, and the top on the CrossFit Games podium. As the rest of the women are working on their final lunges here, as Daniel Brandon is across. Emma Lawson is in. She's looking to keep herself on the podium. Ariel Lowen is now done. She will probably wind up with a medal around her neck. Alexis Raptus, who at one point was the overall leader, is in. Alice Gazette. The last woman out on the floor. Captain Davis' daughter is going to win the test. 7.33.41 seconds for her. 14th career win for Davis' daughter is Gazette is now done. Search and the find the fittest is over. And it's that woman, Laura Horvath. First time in her career. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the fittest woman on earth, Laura Horvath.
Laura, you have stood on the podium before, but never in this position. What does it mean to you to finally have broken through and stand atop the podium? It feels very, very good. It feels all my hard work has paid off throughout the years I've been doing CrossFit, and I'm just very happy. As the fittest woman on earth, you are a role model for athletes, for women, and especially for young girls looking at the sport who want to prove what they can do mentally and physically. How does it feel to you to be a role model for all of them? It's a little pressure, but <laughs> I'm just very happy that me and my body can do this, and I'm not looking at the new Barbie movie. Oh, I want to look like that. I want to look like what I look like. And I, I just want to prove that my body, whatever it looks like, can do these amazing things and move things from A to B and run fast and lift heavy and all those things. And I'm just very excited that female, little girls and also teenagers look up to all these amazing girls that are here because our bodies are not us, we are what's inside. And it's amazing what our bodies can do if you put the work in. We are closing out our time here in Madison. What kind of memories have you made here at the Alliant Energy Center? This was my first ever CrossFit Games in 2018, was in Madison, Wisconsin. So this city holds a very special heart, uh, place in my heart, because this was my first UK year. This was, I made amazing friends with competitors. This was, my parents came to cheer me on, and this is where I became the fittest on earth. So this city will definitely hold very special in my heart. Congratulations to the fittest on earth, Laura Horvath. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Training partner Gabby Magawa, two of them worked out together and trained together throughout the year. But what a week for Laurel Horvath. She only had one finish lower than 15th. That was on day number one in the inverted medley. She was never lower than ninth in the overall standings and came out and absolutely dominated today. Had a ton of momentum and she rode all the way to the top of the podium. with the only total on Saturday night, taking first. She went to bed with just a little bit of confidence, and that's all this chick needed to finish strong in the end, taking first in the muscle up log, first in the parallel bar pull, and then dominating here in this test number 12, first in the Echo Thruster final. Found the finish woman on earth for the first time in her career. Send it down to Nikki Brazier with the two women who will join her on the podium. Emma, after everything that you have been through this week, before competition started, you said it was a little intimidating coming out here with some of the women that you've looked up to over the years, but as the youngest competitor to stand on the podium. What does this moment mean for you? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, wow. Honestly, I, I don't have any words. This is just unbelievable. If you would have told me last week that I would be in this position, I wouldn't have believed you. So I'm just so happy to be here and grateful for all of you. So thank you. <laughs> From fit at a teen age to the fittest mother, in the entire world. Ariel, I know you've been through a lot. You've taken time away from the sport of CrossFit to focus on your family. Did you ever think that this moment would come for you? Absolutely not. I retired after I had my child and God told me I'm not done and here I am to prove that when I gave up on myself, I still had a little bit more. So it's so sweet. Congratulations, ladies. Thank you so much for a wonderful season.
out Ariel Lowen and Emma Lawson, your women's podium here. You've been around the sport for a long time. The future is bright when you look at the stars that we have in the women's competition this point. What beautiful examples, like Laura had said, for all young women and girls and little kids in our sport to see that the future is so bright and so strong, mm -hmm. Sean. And you were one of the original stars who helped pave the way for them. What it's like to, for you to see now the next generation take the torch? It's kind of great. You know, I grew with the sport. I started in 2008. And to watch the sport go from what it was to what it is now today, and the community grow in its, in its course as well, has been awesome to experience and be a part of. We've found the fittest woman on earth. When we return, we will crown the fittest man on earth. So stay with us, everybody, as our coverage of the 2023 Noble CrossFit Games continues.